I was a junior in high school the first time I visited West Virginia University, and unlike most students' first visits, I wasn't there for a guided tour or an information session. In fact, at the time, I wasn't even considering applying to WVU. Instead, I was there to visit my older brother and to watch the Mountaineers take on Oklahoma in the final football game of the regular season. Before the game began, my brother took me up on top of Law School Hill, and we looked down at all the tailgates that seemingly stretched for miles. As we walked around these tailgates, I felt a sense of community that I had never experienced before. Everyone was so helpful and genuine that I never felt on a place, despite not even being a student. I was welcomed into the Mountaineer family with open arms by every fan I met that day. When we got into the game, it was miserably cold. I was wearing three layers of clothing and I was still shivering. The snow was coming down so hard that I couldn't see the field from my seat in the stands. And that's when I saw three guys, shirtless and covered in body paint, yelling and screaming and cheering before the game even started. Three quarters later, and down 27 points, these guys were still cheering. Not only did they brave the intense cold, but they also kept their positive spirit even when the Mountaineers were losing. This type of energy, the Mountaineer spirit, as we like to call it, is a common thing at WVU, and not exclusive to just football. Mountaineers bring this level of energy in everything they do, whether it's athletics, community service, or in the classroom. Now, obviously, we don't have students screaming shirtless in the classroom, but Mountaineers bring this passion in a different way. Mountaineers bring energy and drive to their daily activities and approach every challenge with a positive attitude. They look forward to being challenged because they know that this is an opportunity for growth and improvement. They strive to be great in everything that they do. This commitment to excellence makes WU students so successful and makes WU such a special place to call home. In addition to showing me the Mountaineer spirit, I also had the privilege of experiencing the West Virginia community. This sense of community takes an enormous school with close to 30,000 students and makes it feel small. With over 200,000 alumni, this sense of community is spread across the globe. Seemingly anytime I leave my house with my West Virginia gear on, I meet other students, alumni, or people with a connection to the university. I got a real feel for just how inclusive this school was the first week I was on campus my freshman year. As I wandered around the campus, I began to meet all kinds of new people. I played pickup soccer with a group of people I had just met on the PRT. I went to the mountain layer green with my roommate and tossed around a frisbee with him and some of his hometown friends. From the moment I got there, even the people that I had never met before held the mountaineer values in place. The mountaineer community prevailed and I never once fell out of place. These experiences and all the experiences I've had have helped make West Virginia feel like home. Although my first experience with the community values and Mountaineer spirit came when I was a junior in high school, every day I have the privilege of experiencing these two values in new ways.